Good morning and welcome to English 112 Composition 2 here at Delta College. My name is Joseph Lewis and I will be your instructor for the course of the semester. So just a little bit about me. I've been teaching here at Delta College for the past seven years now. Um, I'm from Saginaw, Michigan, and um, I got an undergraduate in English from Hampton University and my master's in um, literary studies from NYU. Um, currently, I'm a second year uh, PhD student at Wayne State University, and um, I'm in the PhD program in English. Um, I've been teaching this course um, both online and face-to-face -face, um, for the past seven years, ever since I have been working at Delta, so this class is near and dear to my heart. Um, I am a confirmed horror film fanatic, so anytime you want to uh, just sort of chop it up with me online or face-to-face um, -face during my office hours about horror films, I'm definitely open, willing, and able. Um, so, a little bit about this course, or a little bit, first I should talk a little bit about what I'm doing in terms of the film. Um, every week um, on Wednesday, I will um, upload the course contents for the course for, for this course, and um, I'll also um, record a film just sort of talking through what I want you to um, pay close attention to over the course of the week. Um, so this video is meant to be an introductory um, video to the course, and also I want to talk a little bit about uh, what you need to do for this first week in the semester. Um, so the first thing I want to do is just talk briefly about the course um, management site, which is eLearning. So if you go to eLearning, I'm on eLearning right now. Um, if you open up the page for Comp, one, um, comp 2, you'll see um, the news section, and that's where I will post um, the video clips. And the video clips, like I said, will be uploaded um, on a weekly basis um, on Wednesdays by 9 o'clock. Um, if you go to the content section and you click on content section, you will see the course syllabus. You'll see the week one course activities. Um, and then you'll also see supplement material for, the, um, for that week. So every week I will upload a, a Word document that explains to you all of the learning exercises that you need to do for the week. Now you want to make sure that you do those learning exercises in order because those learning exercises are meant to capture sort of this discussion that we would have um, in, in, in the classroom and also capture the sort of, you know, work outside of the classroom. So you want to make sure that you do those learning exercises in order. So when you go to the content section, everything you need for each week will be there. Um, and then you click on the course tasks. That's where the discussion boards will be located. Um, also where the quizzes um, and tests will be located. And finally, um, the other tab that I use is the grading tab. So I, you know, keep a, up, I keep the grades up to date throughout the course of the semester. So you want to make sure that you check your grades on a daily basis. So that's sort of how the e-learning course site is broken down. And so the first thing I want you all to do after you watch this video is to make sure that you go through and you read the syllabus. You want to make sure that you read the syllabus closely. So what I want to do is just touch on some key points in the syllabus that I want you to walk away with, and then we'll move on to what you're supposed to do for this week. So um, like I said before, um, this is Comp one, um, Comp 2. Um, English 112. And so this course is, is, is designed to expand your abilities and versatility in writing and in language awareness. And the major goal for this semester is to write um, a, a research paper. So what you're going to do is um, write three papers that are going to all be connected under the same topic, but you'll just write about those topic in different ways. And those three papers are essentially designed to build to this, um, to an actual research project. The textbook that we will be using is the Norton Field Guide to Writing. Um, you want to make sure that you have the third edition um, with readings and the handbook. So we'll be reading sections from um, the Norton Field Guide to Writing um, to help us um, you know, with some of the learning materials in regards to um, writing this research paper. Um, so if you look on the syllabus, you'll see in the major course assignments, you, we have three papers 
and three tests over the course of the semester. And then you get 50 points for participation that I'll talk about in a little bit. But your first paper is a research narrative essay. And here you will develop your topic of research. And you're also supposed to make a personal connection to your research. So you'll see in course one activities for this week, you'll be reading about the literacy narrative and you'll be reading about different authors that have um, talked about their personal experience with literacy. And so I, what I want you to do is use the readings for this week to help you to start think about thinking about what it is that you want to research over the course of the semester. And so you can't just pick a topic just to get the paper done, but more so you're making a personal connection to your topic of interest. So in this first research narrative essay, you will talk about your topic, you'll define your topic, but you'll also make a personal connection to your topic. The second paper will be an annotated bibliography essay. So in the annotated bibliography, you will pull research together, you'll take sources, um, you'll learn how to analyze and evaluate and synthesize sources, we'll learn about the MLA formatting, we'll learn how to do the Works Cited page, but what's also important about the annotated bibliography is that you will be talking about what the specialists in the field are talking about your topic. Um, so then you'll you know pull together all that information and use that information to write your final research argument essay where you'll take the material and you'll create um, a thesis statement, a position statement, if you will, about the research that you gathered and collected over the course of the semester. So those are the major um, papers that we'll have. Um, and like I said, um, along with those major papers, we'll also have three tests. Um, the test will be open book, multiple choice, um, and um, the dates for the test will be um, on the syllabus. Um, I think the first test will be uh, May 19th, the second one is June 2nd, and this, the last one is June 23rd. And so those tests, uh, you'll have 24 hours to complete those tests. And so I will notify you, um, you know, the week prior, you know, when the, when the test one, test two, test three will be coming up. Now, along with the test and the three papers, you're also going to have what are called attendance and participation points. Now, the way that you get those points um, is that you already have them. So everyone starts this semester with an A, with 50 points for participation. Um, and so what's going to happen is, is that when we do the discussion boards and when we have the discussion board uh, uh, topic and discussions, um, your participation will determine how long you get to keep those 50 points. So when you find yourself, um, you know, when you miss a, every time you miss a topic within a discussion board or don't complete it to the um, actual directions of that particular board, then your points will start to be deducted from that grade. So in the syllabus, as you read along, I talk more in detail about communication, how the discussion boards are going to be run. Um, like I said, um, you know, the discussion boards are not meant for you to rack up points, but rather for you to have a discussion about the course material. Also, every week within the actual modules for the discussions, I will have an um, actual topic for questions. So, you know, even if you don't have any questions at that week, I would say just duck your head in um, on that particular topic because another student might ask a question that you hadn't thought about. So I, I find that using the questions every week um, sort of help students sort of talk about and me address any issues or concerns that you might be having with um, the weekly material. Also, you want to make sure that you look through the syllabus. Um, I have my grading scale along with a sort of a universal rubric for all of the papers. As I assign each of the papers, um, you'll see a lot of this language from the syllabus that I'll be using to um, give you feedback on your papers. So on the syllabus, it has it broken down from what's an A paper, a B paper, a C paper, and um, so on and so forth. Um, you also want to make sure that you go over the late work policy, the online classroom conduct policy, um, along with academic integrity. Um, if any students with, um, I like to call unique abilities, you want to make sure that you um, get that filled out with disability services so I get that proper paperwork and that we can make the um, necessary arrangements um, for you and with um, accessing the learning material. And finally, make sure that you read the valuing diversity statement. So that is the syllabus in a nutshell. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about briefly is um, are the week one readings. So you'll see when you go to the content section, you click on content section, and you go to week one and you'll see you'll open up the course one 
or I should say week one, course activities. So this week you have 12 um, course, act, course readings that I want you to do. And again, I want you to do these things in order. Um, as you're watching this clip right now, you're already doing the first one, all right? Um, so you're going to be reading about the rhetorical situation over the um, course of this week. Like I said before, you'll be reading from um, a couple of authors, um, one being um, Shannon Nichols's um, essay on proficiency. So, you know, how these authors, their personal experience and them um, dealing with literacy um, and how that made them sort of connected to the wanting to study language. Um, we're also, you know, you'll also be reading about the writing process. I um, pay strong attention to the writing process over the course of the semester. You'll hear me say that writing is revision. So um, you'll also be reading about, you know, processes, the writing process, and also strategies um, with, you know, beginning an essay, um, connecting your paragraphs, along with, you know, ending an essay. So these are sort of like the beginning foundational things that, um, you know, we're going to start reading in regards to writing our essay number one. And you'll also see an assignment sheet for essay number one, the research narrative essay, that I want you to make sure that you read that closely. Um, and after you um, do those um, things, then you will complete the discussions for this week. And so the discussions for this week, there's a getting to know you topic where basically I ask you some questions to get to know everyone. You want to make sure that each topic has its own direction. So make sure you read those directions closely. Um, I have you responding to a couple of questions from the, the readings from the textbook. Um, I also have you doing a, a quick summary response where, you know, about two paragraphs where you summarize one of the author's readings and respond to that. And I also have some links that you can um, visit to, give, to sort of orient you on some tips on how to summarize and how to respond to your, your summary. And of course, I have um, the topic open up for questions. So again, I always encourage um, you to go and visit the questions topic because even if you don't have any questions at that time, you might find that you know one of your classmates had a question that helped clarify what you already knew. Um, so yeah, um, so the best way to contact me is of course through email. Um, I have the, the communication, um, basically the best way to contact me through email and um, how I go about getting back with everyone. Um, and that's all in detailed in the syllabus. Um, in the meantime, make sure that if you um, have a question, let me know. Um, send me an email, post to the discussion board. But I look forward to meeting everyone um, and reading your posts, um, especially your getting to know you posts. Um, I look forward to working with you and I will see you in cyberspace.